Hey guys, c Max signing in and welcome to another FIFA 17 video. Now today I'm going to be covering the most overpowered cheap Serie A or Calcio A players, whatever you want to call them. The main reason I'm doing this is because in my last overpowered players video, someone in the comment section of that video actually suggested for me to do this video covering the Calcio A or Serie A, whatever you want to call it. Before we actually get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not feeling too well. So if I sound a bit differently, that's why I've got cold, annoying, but it's not going to stop me bringing a video for you guys. We're going in today, guys. And if you do go on to enjoy this video make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated i think the last one's currently on 176 likes so if we can smash 150 on this one with whatever league you guys go on to suggest in the comment section so yeah the next episode is pretty much in your hands guys now actually getting into this we're starting off with the Serie A strikers i'm just going to call it the Serie A throughout this video i know on fifa it's labeled as the calcia but do i care but really guys now nah, i'm just going to call it the Serie A because that's what we all know it as anyways starting off with the attackers like i said and as you can see there we have a great choice choice of players like i did in the last episode i've mixed up the strikers and the wingers because they are attacking players or some of the wing players you can actually play them as strikers because they're that good and starting off with backer for those who haven't used this guy he is amazing his shot power in game is ridiculous the way he gets past people is next to none and he's one of the more fun players to use within the Serie A. he's really good next team with muriel muriel's mainly there because of that pace and dribbling in terms of strength muriel might not be the strongest but he will find the goal more than the other strikers. Icardi is one that a lot of people don't really go to or use mainly because he's not the fastest of strikers but this guy is effective. I mean if you have a fast striker playing next to him it won't really bother you that this guy's not that fast because once he gets on the ball his finishing is ridiculous and his positioning is really good as well so most of the time you find him in the right place at the right time. And Niang's there pretty much for the fact that the guy's a beast. He's only 78 rated, he's got 89 pace and 82 dribbling and in game this guy works wonders moving on to the wing players we have Salah to start us off for anyone who hasn't used Salah in this game you need to try him out guys his pace his dribbling even his shooting through on goal are crazy he's can't only show 72 shooting but once he's through on goal trust me guys it's a lot better than that it's a joy to watch and when you're using him in game trust me guys you love him if you've not used him before and sticking to the same side we have Quadrado five star skiller for those who don't know the guy's footwork in game is crazy and if you like skilling like I said, his five star skills, and this guy will make your day. And he's affordable as well as it's under 10k, so you can throw him in your teams. And to finish off with the left sided players, we have Mertens and Balde Diallo, or should I just call him Cater? Because in the last FIFA, he was Spanish and he was known as Cater. But apparently, a lot of things change in a year. Either way, both players in game are quite pacey. As you can see there, Mertens has 89 pace, and Balde, aka Cater, has 91 pace. Of the two players, Mertens is the better to use as he is higher rated. Mertens dribbling in game is one of the best i've seen for a player that's under 10k coins and if you stick a left forward card on this guy and play him at striker i mean you're getting goals for days the guy is just too good too destructive and before i move on guys i just want to quickly say these are the most overpowered cheap players in my opinion and for anyone struggling with the game or anyone looking for players to use these are most definitely once again in my opinion the guys to go for onto the midfielders we've got an interesting bunch here as you can see there guys the one that sticks out the most is kadera and most of you guys might be like what is kadera Kadiri in there he's only got 66 pace but in this game playing at midfield pace isn't too much of a big deal and also he's not the slowest of center midfielders I mean he's not sub 60 and looking at his other stats he's got 85 physical and 81 defending main reason I like this card is because I think the guy's like six foot two as well so he wins a lot of headers in your midfield Parola's another must-have player guys this guy is just solid in the midfield looking at his stats they're all pretty much all-rounded he wins headers he creates chances he scores goals this guy can do it all he's a very effective player in my opinion and one you should definitely try out if you've never used him before we have Kondogbia next to him who's a cheap but effective player this guy is literally the definition of a beast he'll pretty much boss up the midfield winning balls he's so aggressive and he's really strong as well with Barcelli next to him a lot of people don't really know about this kid but this guy is really good I mean his dribbling is sick we only see 79 on his card but from using him I'd say he's around about 83 84 dribbling his passing is something else as well and he's actually scored a lot of goals for me in the past onto the last three we have Benega, Valero and De Rossi and starting off with Benega and Valero they're both cam players and off the two I'll definitely say Benega is a lot better in my opinion and to finish off we have De Rossi in there because I know a lot of you guys like using formations with that CDM if you're going to have one in the Serie A it has to be this guy he's cheap he's a beast and he won't let you down onto the defenders guys I just see beasts everywhere I mean Manolos, Abad 
Mate, Sandro, Tonelli, Rudiger, Koulibaly, Armero, Lechtensteiner, they're all freaking beasts. When it comes to your centre backs, you want them to have a bit of pace, you want them to be strong, and you want them to be very defensive minded. And looking at the guys I have there, they pretty much all have that. The best, in my opinion, of the defenders I've chosen there would have to be Koulibaly. Because for me, I feel like he's the most effective in game. Manolas is really good as well, don't get me wrong. But for me, in game, Koulibaly always ends up playing that much more better. And if you're building yourself a cheap Serie A squad, they're the guys you want to have in and looking at my wing backs you can tell they all look pacey guys they all look really defensive starting off with sandro this guy is insane there's points you see him fighting people off the ball and later on in the game he'll be crossing balls into the box and you scoring headers this guy literally does it all and as for right backs in the Serie A, lichtenstein is probably one of the best there next to abate i like abate slightly more because obviously he's pace here perez is just wow I mean, this guy is really effective. And to be honest, I wouldn't really mind using any of these players as my defenders. Now, to finish off with the keepers, we have these guys. Now, in my opinion, the better keepers in the Serie A are more expensive. But if you're looking for good keepers within a 10k budget, these are the guys you want to go for. We have Reyna, who is just really good. Out of the three, he's the one I use most because he's the one I feel more comfortable with and makes a lot of saves for me. Hart is good as well. And Chesney is in there mainly because I used him at the start of the game and he played really well. Well for me so if you're low on coins he's the dude you want to throw in there and he'll perform wonders so there were pretty much all the players i had to show you guys when it comes to cheap and overpowered serie a players you now know who to go for and to finish off the video i thought i would show you the team i would build with the players i've shown you someone actually suggested this in the comment section of my last video that i show the team i would use with the players so yeah here it is guys if you guys want to actually see a more in-depth video so how much it costs how it plays make sure to drop a like on this video the sooner we hit 150 plus likes on this video guys the sooner i'll bring you a squad builder of this team today i covered the Serie A or calcio a whatever you want to call it but if you guys have any other leagues you want me to do part of the premier league because i've already done that let me know down in the comment section also let me know whether you want me to cover the cheaper or the more expensive players as i can make that happen for you guys and if this is actually the first time you're watching this channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future content that's about it from me today and for today this is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys, and see ya.